The EdgeCam 2013 installation is managed from this splash screen with documentation including the installation guide and information about the new features in the software. If you're using a server for licensing or hosting the Toolstore database from a server, you'll first want to install those options on the server before continuing to the workstations. The workstation install options are EdgeCam, and you'd always do that and then possibly follow with the CAD links. In this example here, we're going to install EdgeCam on the local workstation. It's a next, next, next type of install. You have the licensing agreement presented first. The next option is the folder on the local workstation that EdgeCam will be installed to. The installation type, typical, is usually fine. And then the program group that you see in Start All Programs. You finally have a summary screen of the options, and when you click Next, the installation will begin. I've compressed the time that it takes here. When it's all done, you reach a Finish screen with a What's New checked. If you click Finish, it'll launch the What's New documentation for you. We do suggest reading through the What's New documentation to see the new functions in the version, and you'll find some items that may apply to your license, as well as some that don't, but you'll certainly find some things that you'll want to know about as you begin to use the new version. Let's take a look at, at the first launch of the new version now. So once it's installed and I double click on the Edge Cam icon to launch it, you're going to have a, a prompt to ask about using public folders on the local workstation. I'm going to say no since I'm the only user on this workstation that uses Edge Cam. Next, the file migration wizard would be presented if there is an old version on the workstation. And this is a helpful tool that migrates files from the old version, leaving the old version intact, replicates them on the new version. So the first time we launch EdgeCam, it looks just like our old version does. We definitely want to do this. The options that you can move over are presented. By default, the major items are checked. You can change that if you want. And then when it's done, you have a summary that tells you it's completed. We can close that and continue with the process of launching EdgeCam the first time. I'm going to ask it to remind me later to register. Registration gives you access to the Vero customer portal. If you've already set that up, you don't need to register. And then it, finally, a summary note about either upgrading Toolstore databases interactively or creating a new one. I'm going to let it create a new one, but typically I would go to Toolstore Administrator and manage upgrading the databases myself, perhaps before I first launch EdgeCam. It tells us we've made a new database, that's fine. So now EdgeCam opens and it's configured just like our old version was, with all the post processors and other settings copied over. If you haven't taken a what, look at what's new yet, we do suggest that first thing you do is head up to the Help menu and you'll find what's new available at your fingertips there. You'll want to take a read through that and enjoy using the new version.